we are dealing with your anxiety by watching really, really, really intense shows. I've never understood the practice of like you're feeling really bad, so you go home and watch a show that's like really bad or a lot of really high, um, like there's a lot of high emotion throughout the show, but it's definitely. Um, something that people do, these high anxiety shows seem to comfort people. Well, it's interesting because they're high anxiety and that everyone's in these precarious, horrible situations. And maybe part of us looks at it and says, well, heck, as bad a day as I had, it's not quite that bad. But my whole thinking is, as I'm watching them, and I can't stop either, Jenny, at night, I'm thinking, I know intellectually I should be watching something that's calming me down and getting me ready to sleep not something like this that would just leave you a uh, squid games which will just a squid game which will leave you just like completely ha the first night i watched it i had nightmares about it exactly all night. well so some experts that were interviewed in the huffington post uh have weighed in on why people do this first of all it provides a guiding light for survival they allow us to f feel our feelings in kind of a safer way because it's all encapsulated you're feeling the feelings with the show and then you know the show's over or something that's happening to somebody else and then they help us project and shape our emotions. So actually having somebody to relate to and then feel like, okay, that person's feeling this way, I feel that way as well, and then you turn it off and move on. Well, it's interesting. I did a segment with a psychologist like some years back when the number of Housewives franchises was like exponentially getting larger and larger and more and more and more of them. And she said, people begin to watch and they watch season one and they see these people living these rather fabulous lives. Beverly Hills comes to mind, right? And you think, you're a little envious. You're like, boy, wouldn't it be great to live that life? But then as they start to infight with each other, as conflict starts to come up, as problems in marriages start to come to light, you start to think, oh, well, I guess having money isn't everything. I'm happy over here in my little house without my money. So, yeah, yeah, for, for sure. So it's this article had, um, like, these these four different ways to decompress after you watch one of these shows that you, so that you can't actually go to sleep. They call it the TIP method, T-I-P-P. -P. Mm -hmm. So first of all, temperature. Splash your face with cold water. Take a cold shower. Grip an ice cube. Or go on the warm end. And I'm just thinking, if you have to do all these things after watching the show. Then why are you like, doing well, it? We shouldn't be watching them, but this is for you because you do this. Then intense <laughs> exercise. Do jumping jacks. <laughs> run around or lift weights, but don't overdo it. Then pace breathing. <laughs> breathe in deeply through your nose for four seconds. Then exhale for six. And finally, progressive muscle relaxation. Tighten a muscle and then relax. Now so, i got to work that into the bedtime routine? Yes. So you. I mean, wouldn't it just be easier <laughs> not to, just to watch something that's feel good? That's and kind why of a Comedy. We do say that sometimes, like, let's just watch something light and funny. Yeah. Even if it's like, you know, a couple episodes of a Netflix stand-up comic series or something. I mean, that's why I like like Working Moms. It's such a fun series. I've talked about it before on Watch It Watching, and it's just like fun and light and you know, You're it's not just having nightmares two. all night. I don't have nightmares. No, because it's like yeah. they're related they're reflecting my actual life, I guess. <laughs> all right, so that's our express question of the day. Why is it? that we subject ourselves to these anxiety-ridden shows after maybe we've come home from a day of dealing with our own anxiety. Um, share your feedback with us. It's on social media. We will have it right here at the end of the show, toward the end of the show.